Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P0013 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Toyota P0013 code? It was an exhaust B camshaft position actuator circuit open bank one. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer has seen a problem with the variable valve timing, which has an actuator inside of it. And this is used to help open up the cams at different speeds. It helps boost the performance in certain cases. And so the onboard computer has seen an issue with this. So it'd have to be troubleshoot to know why. And some of the possible causes for this could be low or dirty engine oil, it could be a bad variable valve timing, solenoid, it could be inside the wiring or the harness, and it could be inside the onboard computer, the PCM, but this is pretty rare, so it's not very common. And the first thing to do when you get this code is to go check the engine oil, because low or dirty oil can cause issues with the variable valve timing, solenoid. Oil flows through it, so if there's like really low oil or almost no oil or really dirty oil, it can mess with the solenoid. So the first thing to do is check that oil and be sure that it's at the correct level and that it's not super, super dirty or anything. And then the next thing to do is to either go look or to Google where the variable control actuator is on your particular engine. And there can't be just one in some cases, but this one's pointing to that there's two of them. There'll, there'll likely be an intake and exhaust one, so you want to locate the exhaust one. And it'll just be a small valve that'll have a wiring harness going to it. You want to check out this wiring harness, be sure it's connected good, there's no open shorts, anything like that because bad wiring can cause the same symptoms as a bad solenoid, so you want to be sure that's good. And if the wiring all looks good and everything, then it'll be time to replace this variable valve timing solenoid, which contains the actuator as a part of it. So replacing the whole thing will be the next step. And I'll jump over on Amazon real fast and give you an idea how much they're costing right now. They're costing around $25, $22, $30, $33 there. So they're not super high cost parts or nothing. Even though in some cases you can clean these up and put them back in. Some people will try that and it does work. In some cases I would just go ahead and replace it since it's a low cost part. And replacing one of these is usually pretty simple, especially if it's located on top of the engine. Sometimes they can be located in difficult spots, like in the front of the engine, or behind a fan or a pulley or something like this in some cases. But quite often they're on the top of the engine. And when they're located like that, they're pretty simple to swap out. You just have a harness, and like a 10 millimeter bolt holding it in place. You just remove the harness, remove the bolt, slide the old one out, slide the new one in, bolt it down, put the harness back on, and that's pretty much it. And so what do you do if you have a Toyota with the P0013 code? Well, first thing to do, go check the oil. Be sure the oil is good. Be sure it's not low or super, super dirty because bad oil can mess with this variable valve timing solenoid. The next thing to do is to find the exhaust variable valve timing solenoid on your engine. Since there can't be two, there can't be an intake and there can't be an exhaust. Once you locate it, check out this wiring. Be sure that wiring all looks good and that there's no issues with it. It's plugged in good. There's no open shorts, anything like this. If that all looks good. Then go ahead and just replace this variable valve timing solenoid since this contains the actuator inside of it. And then after you replace it, clear the code and that should solve the issue. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about solving a Toyota with the P0013 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.